What's up, y'all? Ryan here for Southern Reptiles. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I know it's been a while since I put some content out. Just been busy with life, with the little one, with the new house, the new property, and, uh, and life is good. I'm, I'm very, very blessed and busy. Blessed and busy. So figured I'd do a short little video, just doing some chores around the house with tortoises, with chickens, with a little bit of everything. So if you are watching, thank you. Please give the video a thumbs up. And also if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and also share with your friends and family. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Check out what's coming up. some of my nice uh, cherry bomb hatchlings that have a lot of head and neck color. Beautiful hatchlings. Just give you guys a little update on the hatchlings. We had the Florida box turtle hatch out, which was pretty cool. Um, that one's doing great here. So tiny. Beautiful little Florida box. I'm gonna get that in some water today. Actually, I like to start, start them off in water and feeding them pellets and um, floating pellets like Reptomin and Missouri Turtle Diet. And then I'll uh, as they get older, move them to a more drier setup. Um, here, here's uh, actually a, a, a Florida-born Russian tortoise. This is a captive-born Russian baby that hatched out the other day. Yolk sacs completely soaked up, so I'm gonna uh, give it a little soak in a few minutes and it's doing awesome. Nice size little hatchling, perfect scutes and you know, you don't see many captive born hatchling Russians in, in, you know, in the trade, in the pet trade. They, it's mostly uh, captive born imports or wild caught imports. Um, they're either the farm raised ones or the uh, wild caught ones. And so it's pretty cool. And you don't see many people producing them in Florida. So. This is a uh, Florida-born Russian tortoise baby. I have about five more eggs that are fertile as well. So I'm excited about those hatching and this little guy's doing great. I had to throw down some uh, mealworms for these guys so they wouldn't attack me, the Velociraptors. As soon as I get in the door, they're trying to hit me up for food going after my toenails sometimes, but <laughs> I, uh, my wife wanted me to come out here and get some eggs and there are lots and lots of eggs. As you see, I already got a, a few in here from yesterday, but let's see how many we get right now. We got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. There's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. That little white thing there, that's actually the tube. I, I dumped the feed from the outside and it comes down here into this. And I wash this out once a week and put new pellets in it for them. They act like they don't have food, but trust me, they get plenty of it. But they're snacking on their mealworms right now. Oh, I missed a couple eggs. 
They were hiding. Look at that. One, two, three more. Man, look at that. Overflowing with eggs. It's the beauty of having chickens. I love them. They're great pets and they're easy to keep and they produce eggs and we love eggs for breakfast. Fat and happy. <laughs> so if you were counting, comment on the video. How many eggs did I get in total? Not counting the eggs that were in the basket. How many did I get? Comment below. Coming over here behind where the chickens are, where I, I got the cherry heads, and pardon the uh, sound because one of my neighbors is having a little party, which is no big deal. I'm having a little fun on a Friday, a little birthday party, but we got cherry head covering up a clutch of eggs right now. My little girl. This is my girl that actually uh, had twins. She she uh, laid one egg one time, and uh, it was and I had twin babies. If you haven't seen that video, go back just a couple weeks, a couple videos back, and you'll see where hatched uh, hatched out twins and two babies and one egg so here's a couple more cherry head eggs this is like the end of the season i'm su surprised she's even laying it's probably just because it's uh been raining and been the weather's been weird and it's been cold and dry and then a little bit of rain here and there so it's been kind of a funky season but happy to get some eggs and uh We'll see how they do. Sometimes at the end, of, when they lay them really late in the season like this, they end up being infertile because the the breeding happens usually in, in, in the summer, right? You know, where it starts right now. So you're coming towards the end of the, the, the clutch cycle, you know, so. But we'll see. Happy to get any eggs. So my cherry head that was digging and laying out there, um, it was just too hard for me to film digging them up because all the cherry heads around were hungry and they were just on top of me and wouldn't, wouldn't give me a break to where I could hold the phone and dig up the eggs at the same time so I couldn't film it. But she ended up laying this clutch of five eggs. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna be fertile because it's so far, you know, they, they haven't been breeding for a few months, but you know, the sperm retention can actually last for years with tortoises. So we'll see, maybe one or two will be fertile. Maybe we'll get bust and all of them will be fertile. So any eggs are good eggs to me and uh, I'm super grateful for that. And uh, I got a Burmese star that I think is starting to dig, um, so. Stay tuned for that. All right, as you can see, try not to interrupt. A little temporary Burmese star enclosure. I have an adult 1.3 in here. And this female is nesting, as you can see, by her rear legs. I, I can't tell if she's covering up the nest or if she is excavating it, but it, by the looks of it, it looks like she's covering it up now and packing the dirt in. Um, I had a few test holes recently, so I knew um, someone was digging. Um, so we'll see, we'll keep you guys updated. It, uh, let's see, what is she doing? She's packing. So it looks like she probably, she probably already laid. Either that or she's hitting some roots and having trouble digging. So we'll see. She's very close to some pine trees. I have, I have the temporary enclosure underneath the pine. So there's a lot of roots and 
um, I might have to get her into a, a setup where she can uh, just have dig into some free, you know, topsoil or something. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. It's exciting stuff. My, my little guy's out here with me. Sorry, that's my wife's butt, not my little guy. There's my little guy. <laughs> But, yep, I'll keep you guys updated. I think it looks like she's packing the nest, which is great news. So, we shall see. All right, guys. So, my Burmese female, she finally finished covering up the nest. She did a great job. She spent about an hour alone just covering the nest and packing it in. She dug through all these roots. Did a great job. So we got one egg i'm just gonna put it outside here fortunately i'm having a problem with crows the birds are um digging up some of my tortoise eggs i found a couple already dug up not burmese eggs but a uh, a clutch of redfoot eggs that was dug up there's two You know, I try not to roll them, but they were just laid, so, you know, the embryo hasn't been set yet. There's three. Wow, she laid a nice clutch. It's four. Five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. Feel another one in there. Trying to gently get to it. Oh, I think I feel two more. Wow, big nest. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm sorry, nine. There's 10. Ten eggs. Not a bad day. Man, she dug that nest deep too. So 10 Burmese star eggs. That's a good day in my book. And like I mentioned, I've been having these crows that sit and watch my tortoises dig. I didn't have this problem at the old property. And then when they're done digging, they're uh, coming in, digging up the eggs. With their beak, they're able to dig them up easily. So that's uh, 10 Burmese eggs right there from that female there. So nice night. Happy Mother's Day to this girl. Spent the day with my wife and my mother-in-law and my son. And I spent the day with my mom and family yesterday. So it's been a good weekend.
All right, everybody, that concludes the video. I appreciate your support. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. And if you have friends and family who love turtles and tortoises too, share the video content over to them. I greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.southernreptiles.net. Right now I have Herman's hatchlings, Russian hatchlings, pancake hatchlings. I have juvenile Russians and Hermans. I have adult redfoots, adult yellowfoots. I have uh, redfoot hatchlings, a little, little bit of everything. So, you know, don't be afraid to check out the website. Shoot me a private message through Facebook or you can email me through the website. Um, and my phone number is also listed on the top. So thank you guys and comment below. Let me know if you want any new videos of any kind. And uh, I appreciate the support and everybody have a good evening.